Hello everyone, um, welcome to this little mini um, YouTube clip um, called Don't Frog Your Butterfly. Um, basically the reason I'm doing this little video clip is because it was brought to my attention this weekend and it really, really crushed me, I can tell you that. It got made me really sad um, that I had managed to miss one stitch in round 17 during the tutorial. Um, Interestingly enough, uh, when I had done my first two before making the second two that I actually um, recorded, I made this stitch, which is this little picot here um, in every corner that you have of round 17. Now, you can see that when I did the tutorial, I missed it, so I don't have a picot right there. However, um, this is a stitch that does not affect uh, you starting to make round, uh, making part two um, or anything else in the pattern. It's only that you can see that they look a little bit different like this. Um, I am very sorry for this. It really, really, really crushed me. I can tell you that. I was really upset and I've tried to find ways of adding this into the actual video that we already have up, the tutorial, but I've not found a way that I can add a text um, to an already existing YouTube clip. Um, so uh, that's why we're doing this. If there are any other things uh, that you need to know, like in part two or three, because I'm only human, I'm really sorry about this, um, that I missed this one. I'm hoping I don't do any more errors because I really don't want to mess things up for you guys. Um, but if so, if I've managed to be human, um, we will add these little clips so you know what's going on. So this is really, really, really in the corner. So it's in the beginning because you start this round over here. So it's in the beginning of the round. I've missed that Pico 2B that should have been there. So I have it on two sides on this one and not over here. I'm gonna see if there's a way that I can find uh, find a little clever way of maybe making a Pico anyways on top of there. Uh, if I do, I'll get back to you. But, you know, other than that, have fun with your butterfly and I'll see you back really soon. Okay, I'm back. I've managed to find a way that you can actually save you this if you've already done uh, your round 17. So please don't bring your scissors out. You really don't need to. I mean, I think it actually looks good even so if you don't um, have the picot. However, this is what it looks like now that I've made this fake picot. So, are you ready to make a fake picot? Let's do that because I think uh, that's a good idea. Bring out the yarn um, that you, you used for round 17. I'll try and explain this very, very um, clearly so you know what to do. Okay, so, slip the uh, slip knot on your hook what I did is this okay um, in this front post now let's go up, go close and let's get closer and personal uh, in this front post stitch around your toffee popcorn that's supposed to have this pico go into that stitch make a slip stitch okay like that you're going to be pulling this to the back anyways so you won't see that because you're going to fasten that okay do your chain two like the pico 2b and what we're going to do is we're going to go into we're going to go into have a look now we're going to go into that the front of that stitch just the front front um front loop of the same stitch that you're in and do pull through and do uh, a slip stitch through there. Now this looks not very good you think, but now you cut your yarn like that, pull that through, okay? And I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get your needle out. Now we're gonna go through that same place, okay? Like that and pull it to the back, okay? And look at that. We have that little picot. If you want to have that picot, you can actually add it like that. And now, fasten that tightly on the back, 
both of them so you pull them actually back and see that actually doesn't look too bad let me go and look at one that I had done like that was a proper one it's a little tiny bit smaller maybe but I think it actually looks really good so I would say you can do that You have to find your ways of fixing things when you muck them up. So um, after that, um, just fasten your your threads on the end of your work, um, and um, because that that pulls it a bit tighter as well. So let's let's uh, let's do this second one as well. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm really sorry that I missed that, um, and I'm so happy that it was found so quickly. Um, but still, I was just very, very sad that I had messed that up, actually. Um, so let's see if I can. But that's the thing, isn't it? You know, you, you can't do everything. I try to explain this to my five-year-old all the time who gets very upset when she's done something wrong. And trying to say, you know, you can make things wrong. You can make them better again. And, and, um... You, you know, don't have to, it's not going to be the end of the world, okay? So, let's see if I've got them fastened there now. Hey, look, I think it looks pretty good. So, that's what you can do. I found a way, so hopefully um, <laughs> you guys will find some help in what I just did um, and uh, meet you back for part two. See you later, guys.